recorded a uh, podcast episode um, so quite often when I've recorded an episode I feel um, quite calm afterwards which makes sense because the podcast is about talking about being present and mindful um, so I feel in order for me to to record and talk about it I have to in order for me to, to speak about it I have to be present and be mindful so in some ways the recording of the podcast is like a meditation <laughs> um, so I've um, continued to be having sort of sinus pain headaches today and I managed to watch um, a couple of videos to to help sort of techniques to help alleviate the sinus pain I'm feeling as well as sort of drinking warm warm drinks especially warm water so um, or herbal teas so I'm going to see if I'm able to do that today um, <clears throat> it feels like certain um, things have kind of grinded to a halt um, and especially when it comes to to writing um, I had some sort of realizations or thoughts that or feelings that I'm not sure that I'm able to reach the the depths in the craft of writing that I, that I need to reach to make the activity of writing fulfilling that it's not enough for me just to sit there and write that if I'm not able to um, to write in a fulfilling way then it, it right now it feels like the activity and the the feelings around you know writing especially writing fiction uh, or long projects such as a novel which is what I've been working on and <clears throat> I've had this thought before where <clears throat> there's be thoughts of giving up writing or letting writing go and then perhaps another wave of mental energy or um, feelings of wanting to write have come back but I feel like right now especially with my sort of mental capacity and mental health um, um, yeah it's it's I'm trying to sort of understand and be aware of of that um, so yeah I feel quite confused on at the moment of what to do um, of and maybe in, in terms of um, healthy activities and to be productive I find that I'm quite aware that these activities such as writing was sort of important in regards to sort of mental stimulation in regards to having sort of a focus you know getting me outside and into into you know into cafes or libraries and giving me that structure a little bit of structure um, and without that there is the the thoughts that perhaps this all I will go downhill even more um, but it's it's quite hard for me to sort of assess myself and to zoom out and think okay yes I need some sort of productive activities I need some direction um, so it's hard for, it's hard for me to do that um, and 
and it's easy to just feel like sort of giving up um, especially with with the, you know these feelings about writing something I've been, I've been doing a long time and and it's hard to know how to feel about it is this just another blip another time of when I'm just not able to write and then suddenly it will all come back D. So perhaps what I can try and do is just focus on my feelings for it now instead of hoping that it does come back or waiting in expectation the the reality I'm living is is now so um, I don't have any other energies to sort of hold on and wait and expect and so perhaps I can sort of try and brainstorm or make sense of it now in regards to writing so so I guess in this moment if I try to make sense of my thoughts and it feels like the meaning the motivation whatever positive things I was getting out of writing it feels like it's no longer there right now so we're talking about the the depths of craft the the meaning writing can give which where craft is entwined in that so the meaning is made up of various things you know in regards to the the drive of writing a meaningful story the the ability to progress in the craft and and make it um, and it feels like without that the writing doesn't make sense because sometimes people may, may say to me you know just 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 write what you can and just accept that you can't write that but I think the enjoyment and the fulfillment that I was getting from writing was the was writing well was doing my best to write well and that leads to perhaps you know sending it off to agents and things so without that it's just me writing and it's it's almost it feels like a I wonder if it feels like sailing on a boat without a sail so perhaps you know you may still bob and move along but there's no kind of drive there's no meaning or less meaning um, and I wonder if <clears throat> Maybe writing will, will will reveal itself to me in the sense of um, if I really want to write, I'll write, and if I don't, then it won't come up in my um, in my mind to do that. So uh, perhaps that will reveal um, how much meaning is left for me to write. Um, so I've had at times before had the thought or the intention to drop writing and then suddenly I found myself going back to opening up my story and then working on it so sometimes the actions can give you the evidence or direction of oh you know maybe you're still meant to be doing this but, um, so but yeah it's all quite confused in my head already of what I should be doing or, you know should I be trying to just hang on to writing or doing it or is it healthy to let go it feels like all of that perspective is not there there's no clarity on that um, maybe maybe uh, there's a sense just to keep things simple you know not worrying about deciding about the writing in the big picture maybe just focusing on the simple moment of now in this moment in this hour in this day that perhaps writing is not available to me for whatever reasons that you know talk, there isn't the the desire to write perhaps. or there is not the desire to write in that format that model so in in that right now it's novel writing um, because I, I find there's still a spark of wanting to do something creative such as 
you know writing notes and the movies I watch and re recording and sharing that perhaps I'm still not sure where I'm sitting with that but perhaps I can try and do that to see um, and follow that natural urge to to just discover to see if that's something that will be helping me in this moment in regards to productivity and meaning um, but I found it a bit um, what's the word I'm trying to think of overwhelming I think that's what because I found myself sitting down I think oh yeah maybe you get to watch a movie but then the thought of well I want to maximize you know me watching a movie and write notes and, rec and record I don't want to just watch a movie and miss out on the um, possibility of making a, a content a creativity out of it so um, so it can very quickly turn into a pressure of perfection of something that can seem as an enjoyable thing but then suddenly it's like a floodgate bursting of okay well we need to in order for this to be successful you need to be doing this regularly and everything you watch and you need to write notes about and um, <clears throat> and it can be a lot of stress on the mind to kind of absorb all of that and I feel like in a healthy mind then it can be there's a huge buffer where that can be absorbed and looked at in different ways and for me it's just a instead of a slight breeze it's a huge like sort of gust of wind that knocks me over so and then I end up just dealing with the the reaction or the repercussions of that so I'm not sure how to strike that balance um, that's something I'm so yeah it feels like I'm in, it's a, in some ways a difficult situation where you're trying to trying to keep myself healthy but it's not as simple as just putting um, but yeah there's just difficulty in that in striking that balance in regards to how I spend my time what I'm able to do what I'm what I'm trying to protect myself from making me worse whether it's a potential healthy activity that can be too much to push myself to do so maybe again it's just making things ultra simple in, and this is where kind of mindfulness can come in it's just sort of asking myself okay what do I need in this moment what would be good for me to do in this moment and that could be just sitting down closing my eyes that could be making a, a herbal tea help my sinuses and just drinking that you know listening to a podcast or or consuming some content watching a movie um, and deciding whether to to write notes and um, so yeah perhaps that's the uh, something that makes sense to me as I talk about it is just to try and keep things simple and not sort of zoom out and think about the you know big projects perhaps that's not something I'm able to do um, maybe in some ways I can try and trust in try and trust in life to take that will take care of that since I'm not able to actively engage in in that as well so I've actually recorded I did end up recording three separate videos for those movies I mentioned in a previous sort of log and I think I was just having a hard time processing whether to create a separate channel for that stuff and um, so as I've just talked about just struggle to process everything in a big in a big picture way um, but I thought perhaps it may make sense if I do end up uploading sort of content about movies and things that it might be better to do on a separate channel um, rather than have two different sort of subject areas in this channel which may make it harder for may make it a bit cleaner to, to separate them since they're not even directly related in that way so there is some sort of therapeutic and I'm doing it to help my mental health but in regards to watching it maybe it will be 
two separate things but also can still be a little bit interconnected where I can kind of um, mention the um, this channel related to that one um, so yeah it'd be just focus on the positives what I've done today already where I've managed to to take a shower so that's a definitely a positive thing I was feeling really tired this morning and quite low so it's it's good for me and, and especially with the heat to feel a bit more fresher um, and recording the podcast it was a real just to acknowledge that it was really good that I was able to do that today um, so I'm gonna kind of uploading that now hoping it's uploading um, and yeah it'd be good for me to do some laundry today um, I feel like that would be good to do and part of me would like to do something productive so with all these thoughts about you know watching movies and writing notes and the content perhaps I'd like to just try that out uh, you know hopefully without much stress or pressure just to try and enjoy doing that um, and then not worry about um, the content is much later you know, even if I record a video after watching a movie and talk about the notes and, and my thoughts about it but perhaps just try and um, isolate it as just that activity and not worry about what I do with it afterwards perhaps I can I can just focus on on the actual activity itself and what brings meaning and enjoyment or what brings what adds to my health in this moment so yeah so laundry uh, potentially watch a movie and enjoy like taking notes and writing um, yeah possibly try and go outside today it's really hot so I'm aware of that and um, also aware of the busyness at the park close by can be a bit too much for me to go there with lots of people there um, that can be a lot and it's not really um, in order to get a bit of exercise it's not really anywhere else to you know to just be walking in the neighborhoods I guess to get a bit of exercise um, <clears throat> Yeah, maybe I don't need to worry about the rest of the day. Perhaps I've got a, a couple of things that I can choose to, to do and just see how I feel in the moment. Because I feel like I'm... Um, things be quick, quickly become stressful for me. So perhaps one thing I'll do after this is just put in the laundry um, to wash. I think that's... And then figure out lunch as well. I've not eaten today. Um, which has been conscious I've consciously decided you know I had something to eat a bit late last night so um, yeah just kind of figure out the energy and having a a healthy lunch and um, and see where the rest of the day takes me